Hello my aliens, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my home. Come on in. Okay, so first thing you see when you walk into the house is this entryway and immediately you can see our dining room that is because this is a very open plan home which i absolutely love and then we have these wooden floors which are my favorite i just love how minimal and natural it feels in here because of the wooden floors and then you can see our walls which are actually not white i know they look very white but they are a very like pale gray color um i did speak about the fact that i wanted um concrete walls but my second option would have been white and a pale gray actually makes up for it so i love it let's move on let's go inside so the first room you see as soon as you walk in is the kitchen which I spend a lot of time in because I cook a lot in this home. So um, yeah, we have a fully um, smeg fleshed kitchen. Okay, so we have an integrated smeg fridge um, which I absolutely love just because it's like so seamless. It just blends in with the kitchen cabinets. You don't even know this is a fridge as soon as you walk in. Um, but yeah, it's actually a fridge. It doesn't look the cutest on the inside right now. So we're not going to show the inside. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a fridge. This is the fridge. This is the freezer. Um, and then over here we have our algae um, microwave. It's just black, simple, sleek. I love it. And beneath that, we have our um, two-in-one washer and dryer, which is literally a gift from God. Like, literally. This thing literally washes and dries your clothing, which saves so much time. I love it. And it also is very aesthetically pleasing. I love it so much. It's just, you know, it's such a need. Okay, so... Moving on to my favorite part of the kitchen, which I'm sure you guys were not even expecting. This lovely tap over here. I am so obsessed with it. I've always wanted a tap like this. You literally can pull like this piece down and when it's open, you can just press this and it just makes cleaning so much easier. Washing the dishes, whatever you're doing. It's just and it's also like so aesthetically pleasing i love how it looks um yeah so it's definitely my favorite another piece that i love of this kitchen is the soap dispensers or are the soap dispensers we have over here these are bamboo soap dispensers which i got from mr price home and i absolutely love them they're very Japanese. The one has like, you know, dishwasher just to make it like easier when you're washing the dishes. And then the other one has like, well, it's supposed to have some hand cream. It's not there yet, but yeah. So that's basically the whole purpose of them. And they're also like little accessories. So yeah, love them. My other favorite part of this kitchen absolutely has to be the mirrors that move like throughout the, the wall. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm such a mirror freak because obviously you need to make sure you look good. But also another feature about mirrors um, is that they make small spaces seem much larger. So I absolutely love that. I love the fact that it's not your usual silver um, mirror, but it's like a deeper, like almost like black charcoal kind of like silver mirror so it really complements the kitchen and then we have these white kitchen cabinets up here um there's not much going on yeah and then we have um these lovely black glasses which i'm obsessed with 
so aesthetic and it just literally just matches the whole kitchen overall and then of course we have our smeg um toaster and kettle and of course they're black because i mean if they're not black then what are we doing the smeg continues in the kitchen we have the smeg stove and we have this little um like it's a smoke extractor i don't know what the formal word is for it but when you turn on the stove it lights up and it literally extracts all the smoke that comes out of um, the pans when you're cooking or even like odors like it's just the best and then we have the oven right here i love how like just the colors are matching the silver the black the sleekness it's just perfect and then in this corner we have my favorite little tool that my friend got me, Koli. She got it for me on um, Friendsmas. Um, I love it so much and it just literally matches the kitchen so well. So far I've only used this once and I found it to be really helpful so I'm going to be using it a lot. And then over here we just have like more cabinets for you know my cutlery. All black, you know what the vibe is. Over here we just have like some snacks, nothing interesting. Here we have our cutlery. You know, it's as organized as it can be. The fact that there is a whole aesthetic going on here, very wooden, silver, with black features. I'm just obsessed. And then lastly, we have just this cabinet over here with just like my pots and um, the chopping board, you know, just the kitchen basics. And then we move on to the station. We have our small bin. Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys this switch over here in the kitchen. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but like it lights up the top of the kitchen, which I absolutely love. Makes it just so much easier. Like when you're cooking, you can see the food much better. So I love that, you know, we have like specific light fixtures that help with, you know, certain functions. And then on this side of the kitchen, we have basically our bar. So we have these lovely black bar stools, which have this leather, um, detailing and some black like matte black metal pieces i just love it so we have three of those just keeping it like clean not too overcrowded okay so let me just tell you a little bit about um the theme of the home um so the house is very scandinavian and japanese combined together um if you don't know what the difference is between the two so a scandinavian vibe is more like symmetrical lines but very minimal of course and then with um japanese inspired interiors they love to embrace wabi-sabi which is basically imperfection so you'll see that um some items are like not symmetrical um Whereas with Scandinavian, things are very like linear, parallel, symmetrical type of vibe. So it's a mix between the two. There's a very thin line between the two styles. But yeah, I absolutely love them. And also this home was not interior designed by me fully. But like, you know, there are some aspects of it that I've added my own touch to. So I added a few items in this home and I'll let you know which ones those are. All right guys, so let's move into my absolute favorite little corner in my living room, which is this situation over here. So this is an art piece. I know to you guys, it literally just looks like a white block with a black frame around it. But honestly, if you pay attention to the detailing, like. There are like fine details on here which make this art piece just i don't know i love it i'm a minimalist like i just knew by 
seeing how much I really like admire this piece that you know I'm 100% a minimalist and then we have these vases over here I don't know if they're giving like a mixture of African and Japanese style so yeah I really love it it's just like so minimal so one is like very elongated and the other one is more like rounded but it's also giving very um japanese wabasabi vibes because it's like not symmetrical at all it's very asymmetrical so they're made of like a metal and this one's also made of metal and then over here we have this beautiful piece of furniture that's like a, like a very dark wood I love it so much. Actually, when I first got here, it was so difficult for me to open this. I did not know how you open this, but it's so simple. You literally just push and open. And there's not much going on in there, so we're not gonna get into that as well. But um, yeah, I am obsessed. And then moving right along, we have our um, sitting area. We have this beautiful round wooden table. I love it so, so, so much. It's just perfect. So this um, wooden table came with the house as well as these lovely gray seats. I love this little feature they have over here. It's like wooden, but it's like a deep brown wood. Um, I think they really go well with the whole setting. And then we also have these wooden posters, which also came with the house. I love them so much. Um, and then we have this beautiful candle that um, was also gifted to me by Koli um, during Friendsmas. And then we also have this vase that I am so obsessed with that I got from H&M. This is 100% giving Wabi Sabi vibes with its asymmetry and just like imperfection but that's what makes it so perfect in my opinion and then again these lovely branches i was looking for these branches everywhere it's so crazy and i spoke about this on one of my vlogs literally i went from shop to shop i searched high and low i literally even went on the internet Someone was selling these for 12,000 Rand, which is insane. Um, but yeah, I got these for literally 150 per batch, and these, like, there are three batches in here. But, um, fun fact about this plant it's actually alive, it lives, it grows. I water this plant, and it amazes me all the time. I can't believe that something so dead looking is actually alive and yeah i don't know it just makes me appreciate this plant a little bit more just knowing that um so yeah that is my living room okay so moving on to the lounge area i love 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 this area which is actually like the area that made me fall in love with this house the most or apartment um, just because first of all the first thing that you see are these huge sliding doors and I've always wanted a living space like this um, but yeah as well as the aesthetic it's just it's insane this place just grounds me um, inspires me especially being a content creator it's important for me to be in beautiful spaces so yeah okay so we have this beautiful gray sofa which um, comes from a South African furniture brand called Valens or by the name of Valens and um, yeah it's very simple um, I think the simpler the better when it comes to a sofa you don't want to do too much because also there's to it, you're gonna add cushions. I'm not really sure where these cushions come from, but we also have a little blanket, which is so important to me because I am a skinny girl. Skinny girls get cold. You know what I'm talking about, right? My 
my petite girls, you know what I'm talking about. So it's important for me to have a blanket. Um, sometimes I get cold when I'm watching TV and just grab a blanket. So it just, it's so convenient. We have these two cushions just, you know, as accessories. Um, and then we have this carpet, which I love. It's like a mix between like a, a black, a beige, and like a deep green. Um, I love the hues together. It just, I don't know, they just complement each other. And then over here we have our coffee tables. We have two coffee tables, which I love so much because like my favorite um, materials in a home or when it comes to furniture are definitely gloss. I love stone and I also love metal and this is all combined in one piece or two different pieces. Um, this one is a little bit larger than this one. And then this one has like a gray marble. This one is a black marble, but um, they definitely complement each other so much. And of course we have our Holy Bible, actually two Holy Bibles over here. Because I mean, what is life without the book of life? You know what I mean? So we stay prayed up in this house, okay? And then over here, we have a little candle setting. Um, this candle is from Mr. Price Home. This one I got recently um, from the China Mall, which I specifically asked someone not to burn because I never wanted to burn it. But I mean, it's burnt now, but it's kind of a vibe. I like it, so it's okay. We will forgive the person. And then we have this little Charlotte Rice um, candle, which is a brand originating from Cape Town. This one I got when I was invited to a Gynagard event. And then everything is just placed on this book that I actually created for myself. I don't know if you guys remember the time that we had like this Vogue challenge on Twitter. I think it moved to Instagram as well. And um, this was my cover. And I just loved it. Does it not give Vogue? Like that's that's my face. So I just felt like it was an important feature to have in the home. I wanted to actually purchase a Vogue magazine, a, a legitimate one, to put on the table. But then, you know what? Isn't it better to just have my own face on the table? You know? And then moving to this corner, we have a lovely TV stand, which is also um, by Valence. Um, I love the color of this oak. It's just like deep, but not too deep. Kind of like in between deep and it, it has like lighter hues in it if you look carefully. Um, and then it just opens like this, nice and easy. And then we also have a little, not really little, a decent sized TV. <laughs> it's not little at all. And then over here we have also again, I don't know if it's like African tribal, Japanese tribal, but it's very tribal um, inspired little vases. And then we have our pompous or pampas grass over here, which I've got a little story about this grass. Me and my mom actually picked this grass together um, one day and yeah it was quite an experience we were helped by some random man who had these like large tongs because the branches were like literally in the river so there was like a tiny stream of, of a river and it was difficult to reach without those tongs and what's crazy is that this man happened to be there at the same time we wanted to pick these beautiful pompous or pampas grass um so yeah that's the story behind it i love that i have a little piece of my mother here so that's that's nice okay so there's actually one more thing that i forgot to show you guys um so it's basically the light fixtures that we have first of all they're very minimal and i love that don't really know what they're called but these little circles that we have that are like literally placed into um, the ceiling. We have two light options over here. So, 
So it's either I can turn on this inner part, which is very moody. I love it for the evenings when I don't want it to be a little too bright. And then when I'm having dinner, I like to turn these ones on as well. So it's like really bright. Or I can just keep the ones on, the little tiny circles on, and then about this home. Okay, now moving on to the sliding doors. We're actually going back to the sliding doors because as I said, this is what makes the home feel luxurious. Um, so yeah, we're going to open up these beautiful sliding doors. My favorite thing ever is just sliding through. Okay, so I thought it ended right here, but it actually continues. And this is my favorite thing because it literally feels like you're outside, which you can also do on this side. And it's just, it's such a vibe. I remember I hosted my family for New Year's Eve and we just had this whole place open, which is like amazing they love the whole vibe and also another thing that i love about this home is that it's an open plan which makes it so like visitor friendly um so i was busy in the kitchen cooking while my family was sitting here and was sitting in the lounge area so it's like we were all seated together at the same time um so yeah love it super cute so when we step out, this is my balcony, which I really love. It's quite spacious. I haven't done much here yet. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of space here. Um, I still need to figure out what we're going to do, but I really love to come here, you know, when it's a little bit hot in the house. So I come out here just to get some fresh air. And yeah, I absolutely love it. It's such a vibe. So another thing that I love, we have these curtains. I don't really know what you call them, but they just slide down like this. And they're just so easy. Like I can leave them halfway, I can pull them halfway up. They're just so convenient. Pull them all the way down. And they go all the way throughout the lounge. And um, you know, when it gets too bright here or the sun gets too crazy, I like to have them closed because oh my gosh, at 5 p.m. the sun over here is insane. It's like we're on a Sahara desert, like I'm not even joking. So yeah, as much as I love this view, the heat sometimes is just unbearable and these curtains are just so helpful when it comes to that. Okay, now we're gonna move into my bedroom, which is where I get all of my beauty sleep. So, come on in. Okay, so, first of all, the very first thing that you see when you come in here is the bed. It's quite large and um, what I really love about it is that it's kind of like low so I've always wanted like a Japanese styled bed that is kind of like directly on the floor but this one is not quite there but it's also not as high up as your regular bed would be which I actually prefer to be honest we have this um, like bed frame which is also from Valence. Um, I love that it has like a, a very short headboard because I'm not really a fan of headboards you know the whole large headboard vibe. We also have our like white bedding. I just I don't know something about white bedding makes you feel like you are in a hotel so I really love that. I actually thought that white bedding would get dirty very quickly but honestly I don't know it just lost quite a while maybe I'm much cleaner than I thought I was um, 
And then on the sides of the bed, we have these lovely wooden um, side tables, which have like little drawers. And then I have this very, very special frame over here, which my bestie gave me the one time she came to my home unexpectedly. This was like two years ago, I think. And she literally wrote me a letter and printed it out and framed it. It's so crazy that she framed it in this wood because that was two years ago and it fits my home right now. It's so crazy. I just feel like, I mean, like she really is my soulmate, my best friend. And yeah, the love of my life. Just a little fan that I got from, um, Hey neighbor, so Heineken gave us these cute little um, bags, gift bags with like items that were very helpful for our trip and this was one of them. You can actually hold it like this, put it up, um, out of its stand. It's very helpful at night when it gets hot, so yeah. I actually just realized I forgot to turn on the lights in here. We have exactly the same vibe as the lounge and the kitchen so double lighting a double lighting system which i love i think you can also see the room a little bit better um also this art piece over here i really love again every single art piece in this home is very minimal i love that it's just black and white with a white background and a black frame right above the bed i think it just gives like it makes it look so visually pleasing so yeah love that art piece i love how huge it is as well we have over here the biggest mirror i've ever owned in my life like my dream this is my dream for real the amount of time I spend looking at myself in this mirror, it's just like, it's so much easier, especially when I'm like planning my get ready with me, my outfits, you know, it's just like, you wanna see the whole thing. I want you guys to see like, how tall it is comparing to me. It goes all the way up, like, it's insane. Love, love, love this. And then over here, we just have our white wooden, um, blinds um which are just like super easy to open and close just very simple very minimal i love it okay moving right along let's go to the bathroom which is the last room in the house okay so moving to the bathroom I love it here. I think it's very simple, very just minimal. The only thing I must say about the bathroom is that um, there is no window, which means that lighting is not really the best. But um, yeah, I love the setup of this bathroom, um, especially the shower. The fact that there's no door in the shower, I love it. And then we have silver hardware all throughout the bathroom um here at the bottom we have this drain that's like a long rectangle it's just so futuristic and then we have this little soap dispenser which was also gifted to me by Koli, and i love it so much it has my shower gel in it just keeping it nice and clean in there oh and then we have these gray tiles on the wall which i love they kind of feel a little bit concretey so yeah it's just the perfect little minimal vibe and then when we move in here um we have this black towel on the silver fixture um literally all of my towels are black um i like to add like black features in the home as much as i can and then we have a floating sink which is like you know these little cupboards over here um it doesn't actually close this the stopper in the sink literally the water just flows through so i can never soak 
anything in here. Um, but I, I think that's the beauty of it. And then we have another like stony, like black um, soap dispenser. And then we have this little situation here with all my makeup brushes. Of course they're wooden because they match the home. Um, and this is so convenient. We have a little bathroom plug, the best. And of course a little mirror with um, some with the bathroom cabinets inside here. And moving this way, um, we just have this like bamboo um, laundry basket. And then we have a floating toilet, a little black dustbin above that, toilet paper, um, and then a little toilet brush. And yeah, that's about it. Alright guys, so that's it for my house tour. I've actually been here for a while um, and it's been really hard for me to film content without including certain parts of my home because I wanted you guys to see my apartment in the form of a, um, a little tour before I could show you anything. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little home tour. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit um, the notification button. But I think it's time for you guys to get out now. So let's go. It has been such a vibe having you aliens come into my home, but it's time to go. I love you guys and see you.